This is the SpaceX IVA suit. When it first dropped in 2020, it stunned the space community with its sleek, minimal design. Lightweight, advanced, and built for serious safety. Fast forward to 2025, and Blue Origin's new spacesuit has stepped into the spotlight, but not for engineering breakthroughs instead, for it looks straight out of Elvis Presley's famous stage costumes. This is definitely a breakthrough for fashion, but not for space exploration, where astronauts prioritize safety and functionality. So are we witnessing the future of astronaut gear or a space age fashion show? Let's break it down right here on today's Tech Map episode. This is Launch Site 1 in West Texas on July 20th, 2021. For the first time, Blue Origin's suborbital New Shepard capsule carried passengers to space, including Jeff Bezos, his brother Mark Bezos, Wally Funk, and Oliver Damon. The success of the NS-16 mission marked a major milestone for the Washington-based company, as since then, they have started a new kind of space travel, space tourism. To date, 58 people have flown on New Shepard to cross the Kármán line, the internationally recognized boundary of space. Notably, among those 58 passengers, the majority were wealthy individuals, including entrepreneurs, investors, and space industry executives, as well as celebrities and high-profile public figures. It has a point since the ticket price for each New Shepard mission could be up to tens of millions of dollars, which most people can't afford. Flights on this vehicle last just 11 minutes from launch to landing, with four minutes of weightlessness. Of course, with a few minutes in space, you can hardly do any important scientific tasks, so it's all just for fun. That explains why New Shepard flights look more like a luxury indulgence for the elite than traditional space missions. However, some passengers don't agree with that. Please don't call it a ride. That is not a friggin' ride. Whenever a man goes up, you have never said to an astronaut, boy, what a ride. You know, we duplicated the same trajectory that Alan Shepard did back in the day, pretty much. No one called that a ride. It was called a flight. It was called a journey because a, right, a ride implies that it's something frivolous or something that's lighthearted. There was nothing frivolous about what we did. This is the share of the co-host of CBS Mornings, Gail King, one of six female passengers on the latest controversial NS-31 mission. Blue Origin promotes NS-31 as historically significant. And to be fair, an all-female spaceflight is a milestone worth highlighting. This is the first all-female flight crew since Valentina Tereshkova's solo spaceflight in 1963. On their website, they also call their passengers astronaut crew, a definition reserved for trained individuals who contribute to the development of human space exploration. They give Jeff Bezos's fiance, Lauren Sanchez, credit as to lead a team of explorers on a mission that will challenge their perspectives of Earth, empower them to share their own stories, and create lasting impact that will inspire generations to come. But when you see their spacesuits designed with more fashion statements than functional astronaut gear, it makes you wonder, is this a real astronaut mission or a fashion runway in orbit? You know, spacesuits are an essential part of spaceflight and passengers on Blue Origin's New Shepard flights will wear custom flight suits in a distinctive blue color. Nevertheless, for the NS-31 mission, these suits were specially redesigned by the fashion brand Monse, led by designers Fernando Garcia and Laura Kim, in collaboration with crew member Lauren Sanchez. The NS-31 flight suits are described as sleeker than previous versions and are made of flame-resistant stretch neoprene. They are tailored for comfort and aesthetics, omitting features like shoulder pads for a more modern look. Its upper part resembles the sleek, futuristic, and form-fitting uniforms seen in the Star Trek science fiction series. Meanwhile, its lower part recalls Elvis Presley's famous stage costumes during his Las Vegas performances. In short, the suits highlight their fashion-forward, attention-grabbing appearance rather than traditional astronaut utility. Okay, I admit that SpaceX's spacesuit 
such as Starman, has the sleek design too, but at least it makes you look more like an astronaut than the NS-31 Star Trek suit. At SpaceX, the focus is clear – safety, performance, and spacecraft integration. These sleek white suits are designed in-house in Hawthorne, California, tailored to each astronaut for a snug and comfortable fit. And they're not just for looks, they're built to protect astronauts during launch, re-entry, and in-capsule emergencies. When it comes to tech specs, SpaceX takes the lead. The NS-31 suits lack key life support features. There's no sign of systems supporting extravehicular activity or even integration with spacecraft systems. They seem more like a bold statement than a functioning part of the mission. This makes sense. Ahead of the first crewed mission in 2021, Jeff Bezos shared that with the new Shepard's cabin pressurized, spacesuits would be redundant. SpaceX suits, on the other hand, are engineered for survival. Built with Kevlar and Nomex, they include fire-resistant materials, life support ports, and touchscreen-compatible gloves for interacting with the Crew Dragon capsule. Each suit connects via a single umbilical port on the thigh, making setup fast and seamless. Next, let's talk about comfort. Astronauts praise SpaceX suits for their tailored fit, lightweight, and ease of use, even in microgravity. They're easier to put on and take off than older NASA suits and feel less bulky during extended missions. While comfortable enough to look at, Blue Origin's NS-31 suit lacks essential functionality. Therefore, it is clear that the design of the SpaceX suit is much more advanced because it not only meets complex technical requirements, but also meets the needs of the user. So in the end, while Blue Origin's NS-31 suits made a statement for fashion and inclusivity, SpaceX suits are designed for real missions, real risks, and real results. Which would you rather wear to space? Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit that like button if you learned something new, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into space tech. SpaceX first introduced its IVA suit, known as Starman, for the Dragon spacecraft during the Demo-2 mission in 2020. The experience gained from several years has enabled SpaceX to further advance its suit technology. Last May, the company made headlines in the space community by revealing its new EVA suit, designed for the first private spacewalk on Polaris Dawn. The SpaceX EVA suit closely resembles the IVA suit, which is intended for use inside spacecraft during launch and landing, but not for exposure to space. The EVA suit, however, features upgraded materials and improved joints to boost astronaut mobility and provide protection from the vacuum and extreme temperatures of space. Chris Trigg, manager of SpaceX's spacesuit team, explained that significant effort went into developing new thermal management layers for the suit and ensuring crew comfort inside. There was a lot of work on both the materials of the suit, developing a whole new layer that we needed to add for thermal management, as well as looking at the thermal condition for the crew members themselves and making sure that they were at a comfortable temperature inside the suit, the manager of SpaceX's spacesuit team Chris Trigg said. Although the EVA suit is based on the IVA design, its soft sections become rigid under pressure, and it incorporates specialized joints for flexibility. This approach is intended to avoid the discomfort associated with traditional NASA suits, focusing not just on astronaut survival, but also on comfort. Elon Musk has noted the difficulty of maintaining mobility in a pressurized suit, likening it to being inside an inflated balloon, and emphasized the challenge of creating joints that allow movement. Because if you just inflate the suit, you know, you're just basically, you know, you're kind of like one of those, like, uh, balloons at a party or something, you know. Uh, <laughs> so it's, it's quite hard to make the, to still be mobile in an inflated suit. Um, and um, ha have the joints move and stuff. And The difference in suit design is largely due to their intended uses. NASA's EMU suits are built mainly for short spacewalks in low Earth orbit, such as those on the ISS. SpaceX, however, envisions missions of longer duration and greater physical demands, such as those on Mars, making comfort a higher priority. 
Maintaining proper suit pressure is also crucial for safety, as illustrated by the experience of Soviet cosmonaut Alexei Leonov, who struggled to re-enter his spacecraft after his suit inflated during a spacewalk. SpaceX's EVA suit also incorporates technology from other company projects, such as thermal materials originally developed for Falcon and Dragon vehicles, now used in the suit's boots. The helmet features a new heads-up display, providing real-time data on suit temperature, humidity, pressure, and emission clock. According to Polaris Dawn Mission Commander Jared Isaacman, while the EVA suit looks similar to the IVA suit on the outside, its internal upgrades are significant. Isaac Mann said the EVA suits are the result of hundreds of hours of testing different materials over the years. Obviously, this is just the first generation of the suit, and it's not the best yet. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk also highlighted, our next-gen spacesuit will be even better. SpaceX's advanced brand new suit catches the eyes of astronauts. Retired astronaut Chris Hadfield recalled his own experience walking in space and the suit he wore, models that would be considered outdated today. The spacesuit that I wore for my first two spacewalks was old. I mean, it was designed in the 60s and built in the early 1980s, said Hadfield. This one, they've used the latest manufacturing techniques right from the beginning, integrating everything together, trying to make it as simple for the crew as possible. The Canadian astronaut added that the new SpaceX EVA suits are easy to get on and off and are made flexible, so movement is easier. Polaris's mission specialist, Anna Menon, highly valued the safety. Thrilled to get to share SpaceX's new EVA spacesuit. This is the suit that will keep us safe on the first ever commercial spacewalk and a big stepping stone towards a future where thousands of people are walking on the surface of Mars. Huge shout out to the incredible SpaceX team for this feat. Tim Peake, the last British astronaut to go into space, said on X that it would be very interesting to hear the crew's full feedback on the new EVA suit mobility, something he said was incredibly important yet hard to achieve, especially fingertip fidelity. He added, elbow mobility looks great though. This is the game changer. Modern spacesuits like the one from SpaceX have taken a huge leap beyond the bulky traditional suits of the past. If you ask astronauts about the old NASA suits, the words you'll often hear are heavy, bulky, and uncomfortably warm. But here's the thing. The discomfort isn't just from the weight. Once those suits are pressurized, they act almost like a balloon. They become stiff, resisting any bend or twist. Every move you make, you're fighting the suit itself as it tries to spring back to its original shape. Now imagine doing that for hours. It's exhausting. 